right? But for acting, we tend to think it ought to be easy. Because great acting looks effortless, but isn't. No one watches the Olympic events thinking they can do any of those things. I don't watch the giant slalom thinking I could make it down that mountain. <laughs> me either. I know I would die, right? It looks hard. You can't get me on a pair of skis. You're right. So forget about the slalom. Yeah, a triple <laughs> axle. Exactly. A triple axle on, on solid ground, <laughs> on ice, right? So we know that those events look hard. Great acting, when it's done perfectly, you don't see the acting at all. So everyone thinks they can do it until they try to do it and they realize they can't. Mm. It's a craft. Mm. And the work that's gone, gone on um, behind that effortless, that the simplicity and the effortless it's of what years. you just experienced. <sighs> there was a question and answer, speaking of Hagen, after her performance in, of six dance lessons in six weeks and I was having drinks with her after the show one night. So I got an earful about this. Someone in the Q&A asked her, could you describe your craft? And Uda did not suffer fools. <laughs> it was not a good thing. And she must, I wasn't there for it, but as she described it, I thought that, that kid must be two feet tall. She measured him and she said, how dare you? Would you ask a violinist after a concert to describe their craft? Do you think I could give you a one sentence answer to that? Well, that pretty much says it. That says pretty it much sums it up. I'd like to use that. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful to go into my next um, uh, question. I've just kind of put actors on the top of this question. It's an it's it's open at the beginning and it's open at the end. What, as you see it, are some of the professional habits? that actors should be cultivating throughout their career? I'm, that is a brilliant question, and thank you for asking me that. Acting is a comprehensive art form. It requires you to know things about art, music, literature, history. If you're going to have a wide range, you're not suddenly going to pick up verse and understand how to do it if you have no perspective. The other thing that I will say to truly great artists, do things that fill you up. That can be the simplest thing, a walk on the beach at sunset. It could be taking in an art museum, a concert. Make sure that you are nurturing through the other art forms, not just attending the theater, although that's of course wonderful and a great film, but what are you doing to nurture your creative spirit? You become an interesting actor when you become an interesting per an interested person. An interested person makes an interesting actor. And it's that curiosity that we lose, that children have, about life to learn. And the more you're interested in other people, the great actor in a conversation is the one listening. In any conversation, the truly great actor is not the one on, mm -hmm. but the one asking the questions. Mm -hmm. And then being quiet and listening.